Uh, call Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr Chair. I, I intend to take a slightly different, uh, in fact, a directly opposing view to the previous speaker, Mr Chair. Um, this bill is uh, non-controversial and it does need to be uh, uh, passed through the House. And I take, while I do take on board what the previous speaker said, some of these things date right back uh, many years. In fact, to 1864, the, the um, Picton Institute Act, uh, which purchased or had some land set aside for the Picton Institute. In 1903, that land was transferred um, to, the, to the Picton Borough. And that was done, uh, as it turns out, illegally because uh, the, the last uh, living, uh, last member of the trust that had that Picton Institute had died. And they, uh, as a result, that land was transferred, as it turns out, illegally to the Picton Borough, which is now under the Marlborough District Council, which is a unitary authority. So it's been many years, uh, 1903 that occurred, and here we are today, uh, many years later, and that, uh, these councils, and, and uh, I suspect the case in, in many of these uh, instances, uh, where councils have really only just discovered uh, relatively recently that these errors occurred and they're trying to get them tidied up. Um, I take the view that the previous uh, select committee that, that has, has been pointed out most are no longer in Parliament, uh, all except for one, I believe, have uh, did, did uh, a good job on this bill. They have um, put a lot of thought into it. Uh, the fact that they're not here today doesn't mean we can't um, pass this bill through the House. There were nine proposed um, uh, uh, amendments in this bill, and they are by, uh, nine by DOC, six by uh, local authorities, one each by the Ministry of Transport and the Nelson Marlborough DHB. They all show a need to deal with these, and the clauses in this bill actually do um, deal with that. On to the, um, Mr Speaker, the, the DHB, the Nelson Marlborough DHB. It has recently upgraded uh, its buildings and dealt with that as part of this. They applied to get some of their land uh, uh, dealt with under this bill. And they've gone ahead and done their work, but they really, uh, that that the clauses on the title or the caveats on those titles really do sort of uh, constrain what they can and can't do. And one of them actually goes out uh, some of their land uh, in French Pass, which is for a district nurse's um, reserve in French Pass. When that occurred many years ago, of course, transport was rather difficult. Um, now there's no need for a district nurse's um, a facility in French Pass, while there's uh, a good number of people that live out that way and on Derville Island, uh, they don't need that there now. And it really is difficult for the DHB these days to deal with that piece of land unless this is uh, a relevant piece of legislation is fixed. So, Mr Speaker, I, I've looked right through the bill and I believe the clauses are all relevant. I don't see any uh, particular issues with the clauses. Um, I, and while I wasn't on the select committee, and uh, uh, I really do think all of those members on that committee gave it due consideration, I think the bill's needed. Uh, we need to deal with it today. And uh, as, a re as a result of that, Mr Speaker, I commend it to the House. Thank you. Uh, I call Mecca Fai Terry. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr Chair, tēnā tātou katoa.